So we, we have a real um, focus on our players being the first to react. So I've got just four clips I can show you here. Um, first one, Dave Shanahan. So in our last match, the ball comes loose here, spills, Dave's straight onto it. So we've got possession now. So they were attacking right close to our goal line. It might look small, but, but it's a major thing. On this touchline, Marcel could see it. Um, we make a good tackle, the ball comes loose, he immediately gets on it, starts passing, and we start attacking from a turnover ball because he was first to react. Same thing again, so Peter Nelson, they, they do a loose pass, Peter Nelson's on it first, and we, we ended up attacking from this. But all of these situations, um, it was a 50-50 ball, either team could have got it, and then James Hume, you'll see here, the ball ricochets, he's straight on it, and then we can clear our lines at an important time in the, in the match. So we call that scraps, if there's any scraps, we expect that the Ulster player will react first, get onto that ball, and then um, and all season, uh, you know, I would measure that every week, and all season we've been well ahead of 50% on that, which is which is a good thing. This was a, a time in the match, if we look at the score, so we're only leading by five points, and there's 13 minutes left, and we were a wee bit surprised we had so little possession in this game, so we'd been under the pump, really, for, for most of this match, and still hanging on. Um, they play 20-odd phases, and we're just working hard we're getting off the line everybody's organized here you see them so every time uh, Benetton win another phase we have a pretty good defensive line you know and they might be inching their way towards our goal line but we're, we're still intact here we're in position we're getting off the line something since Jared's been in you know he would talk about the line speed but mainly the connection between the players you know that we need a very solid and black line here it's usually a white line across the pitch and we're all really well spaced here and we're getting off the line you know, so, so Benetton have, have no real option but to continue to play phases and we just have to keep pressurising them. So you've seen six or seven phases, it'll go on. It ends up they have the ball for three minutes and we manage just th through our, our hard work. You know, so that you could say they're moving up the pitch but we're still intact here. They haven't made any significant busts. You know, they're, they're desperate to win this match, get a bust and we're, we're just not leaving them. Everybody's working here. So every time they win a line, we're set, we're ready to go, we're equally really spaced. It ends up in a turnover for us in our 22, so we get a turnover here and then we clear our lines. So the go clock's gone from 67 minutes up to 70 minutes. We've defended 20 phases, we're in control, we clear our lines and we live to fight another day. So, you know, none of that is spectacular play, but it's all so important. Um, the connection, the team stuff, and there's no, no players relaxing or not working hard. We've got that, that consistent line, consistent space and consistent... Um, line speed. So yeah, really, that was it, in the context of that match. That was that was a massive moment for us. There's a huge amount of emphasis on um, hard work, on effort, on team spirit, on celebrating our success. If we score, everybody should be really enjoying that moment. If we have a bad moment, everybody's kind of helping me to pick each other up. So I mean, Dan, uh, you know, I would say the thing he brings is is, is kind of his culture and his. You know, it's 15 equal guys and he wants the glory spread and he'll pick out, people wouldn't even notice it, but he's saying look at the impact that this little play has had on, on, the, greater, on the greater good. So, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a long, long process. There's 25, 30 games a season, so we're only a third of the way through. There's still this season and then there's seasons to come beyond and, and hopefully what we're doing now is going to help the short term and the long term future.